My God, are we so attached <laughs> to the Matrix? Different than me being by myself, I started doing push ups again. I started doing push ups again. Mm. <laughs> It's a lot of work. Don't want to overdo it. Well, a little bit. I do like to be a little fit. <clears throat> we do want to pray to God. We want to pray to Yahweh. We want to sing to God. We want to thank God for Yahweh. Or we want to thank God for the piano. And... <clears throat> Great God, Heavenly Father, thank you so much for life. Thank you for existence. Thank you for these fingertips, God, to play the piano and your blessing and to be able to post it to YouTube to share faith with others, God. <laughs> I'm not intimate with you, God. I don't want it anymore. Everything else is a heartbreak and a and a pain and a suffering. Yeah, there's a moment that it seems real, but it's all a false identity of reality, God. It's all the matrix. The only true reality is intimacy with God right there stated in the Garden of Eden. So that's the only true escape from the matrix, the flesh. The fleshly desires. 99% DNA monkeys. Thank you, God, for loving me more. such a hard lesson to learn intimacy. Why are we so attached to the matrix? My God, are we so attached <laughs> to the matrix? I don't know. Because it's green. The flesh is green. that the matrix is fun, but only when I'm sharing it with God. Tonight, I have a special celebration that I want to share with God. I want to thank God for the stars tonight. For a moment tonight, I was able to go outside. You gotta kind of switch out the color, Lord. Do it all the way pink if you can handle it. So for a moment tonight, I went outside and I looked at the stars and I felt joy at seeing the beautiful, I felt joy at seeing the beautiful stars shining so brightly and merrily twinkling, dreaming of God. Elohim is God in Hebrew, our powerful ones. There's a kind of a controversy out there, if you would. A competition of ideas. Saying Elohim represents the powerful ones or the mini gods. Or mini aliens. Representing themselves as our gods. Not just one main 
God. And um, Elohim. Elohim, thank you for the star. So it was just nice to celebrate with the stars tonight. So I just want to share a celebration of joy that I had seeing the stars and being under the starlight, uh, walking down the dark road of the moonless night. So, and um, why? Because I stood up to oppression today. I stood up to a, a corrupt government. Uh, there's much more people to stand up to. They're just so, America is just so ungodly. They're just, everyone's so desperate in the matrix, in the flesh. They refuse to just let their spirit of truth and love and faith just permeate through reality, you know, through God, through Elohim, through Yahweh, through Yeshua, through Adonai, through Lord, through Rafa, through Creator. I call him Almighty Creator, Source, because there's so many different names for God. And I never actually know for specifically if I if I can understand if one specific name was revealed for me. So we stood up to oppression today. We stood up to that, to the corrupt federal government, the corrupt United States evil government, the corrupt police departments, governments, the, the, the police are corrupt. The government is corrupt. The community is corrupt. The churches is corrupt. Everything in America is corrupt. The only thing that's real, the only true escape, is intimacy with God. So that's the spirit of God that permeates your heart when God walks with you on planet Earth. So there's been a few moments God has walked with me. Now he might be with me now. I just might be used to it. I do certainly um, I am inviting him in here with me for sure. But there's these special moments where I'm like, wow, God is right here with me. Like it's so overwhelming and um walking on the earth and i'm just celebrating skipping and laughing because that's what he wants he wants us to be happy on on the earth not not hurting each other and hurting him and hurting ourselves and being greedy and selfish like just like in the garden of eden and cain like being jealous and and uh trying to hurt each other so thank you god for the stars is an illusion it's going to disappear and all you're going to be left with is the spirit and there seems to be some type of representation that what you do in this life could affect your next life the spirit life
so we might cut it short on the camera time tonight. I actually like the camera being with me. It makes me feel so sweet. I like this camera being with me, so. All right, so yeah, uh, walking with the spirit of God, being wholesome in the spirit of God, being true to the spirit of God. And my best moments with God are when, when I'm not with you and I'm by myself with God. I feel the most free. When I'm with you, I'm a little still timid to share with you my true spiritual identity. Because I don't know if you deserve that. You're not really worthy. But you are worthy of God. But you're not worthy of everything that I am. to give myself to you. As long as I'm with God, it doesn't matter. Everything's good. Amen.